at its heart, Indecent is about love winning over forces of hate. When I started work on the play, I was worried that we were becoming increasingly divided as Americans. I was worried that we were losing empathy for each other as citizens. Indecent is the story of a play and the people who did the play, both from writing it to performing it, all over Europe and finally to America. The God of Vengeance ultimately, when it made its way to Broadway in 1923, was shut down. I mean, it was the first uh, gay kiss on Broadway, which I think is amazing. This young man wrote a play about the love between two women in 1906. Not only did he write about the love between two women, it was celebrated. It's sort of really extraordinary how he could see from those girls' point of view in an authentic feeling way. Every moment of this show resonates with something that is happening in our current situation that we find ourselves in. It's about the freedom of artistic expression. It's about oppression. It's about anti-Semitism. The freedom to love who you want to love. It's not just about a specific culture. It, 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 other people relate to the story as, as well. Uh, and it, it, that, that crossover, I think, is, is very exciting and it just grabs everybody. What's great about this show is that it's the Broadway production it's the production that we've all worked on for years before it went to Broadway. We spent a number of years creating a piece of theater that is unlike most pieces of theater that you will get to see. But look, she won a Tony for this, and who doesn't want to be a part of that journey? I hope that this play, like every play that matters to me, wakes us up. It's important for us to wake up right now, to pay attention. I think it's a, a, a very incredible responsibility that we have as artists um, to be witness to our own time, but also to make sure that we don't forget those who came before us. So it's very exciting to bring Indecent to LA and to the Amundsen. I hope that it will be a story that moves people in profound ways, that it will motivate people to keep fighting against the forces of hate and, um, you know, invite you to sort of tumble into this exquisite love story. Mm -hmm.